module one, head 116. On the right hand side, we have a task list with CAD assignments, and we have five CAD assignments. If you click on them, we get a PDF of these plate drawings. What we're going to do is we're going to use the draw line tool to create these different shapes. You will need the standard title block. To get the title block, what I recommend you do is right click on the title block drawing, save target as, and save it to your desktop or some other location. Once you've saved it, go ahead and open it. The reason I open it from the uh, save location is that it will write a temporary file and there can be some read-only errors that you can encounter with that. Now that we have AutoCAD up and running, uh, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the interface. We have our ribbon across the top and we have these different tabs. Uh, on these different tabs we have uh, different properties and so when you cycle through these different tabs you'll get different menus. We also have different work groups. Uh, if we select this bar here, we can change between 2D drafting, 3D basics, AutoCAD Classic, a number of other interfaces that we can customize. One thing that I do recommend you do is you, keep, you hit this small arrow here and you turn on the menu bar. Turning on the menu bar will give you access to all the uh, AutoCAD commands. The other thing I recommend you do is on this bottom here, I'm going to put it back the way it was, these are uh, glyphs and it's kind of hard to tell what they are unless you have the words on. And so if you right click on it and you uncheck these icons, you'll have the words like snap, grid, ortho. And for this exercise we want to turn the snap on and the grid on. We can turn off O snap, O track. Dynamic input is um, a heads-up drawing environment which allows you to see the input where the cursor is. LWT is line weight and QP is quick properties. Um, we don't necessarily need quick properties on so I'm going to turn that off too. So the highlighted ones that are blue are on. To make this exercise what we'll do is we'll start off with the line command. Right click on line and then we'll just glide over somewhere on the drawing. Um, as our first drawing, I'm pretty confident that you'll be able to go through and, and do this. It's, it's not meant to be real hard. And so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and left mouse click my way through this exercise. When I've completed the shape that I want to draw, I'm going to hit the escape key. And then I'm going to go back to the line command. And there's a number of ways that we can get that line command back. We can also hit the enter key. We can right mouse click and we'll go through some of those. So this is kind of a rough um, drawing. You'll notice as you move the cursor you'll get some feedback as far as to the location. What you're seeing is the distance of the line and the, and the vector or the angle. It is possible to go ahead and mirror these and to use some um, some modify commands that will make it more efficient. But from the start, typically I will just go through and draw them line by line. So when I get to the end of that, I'll hit the escape key and then I'll draw the other one. Uh, since we're making a video, I think I will use a modify command and mirror it for the sake of speed. When you use a modify command, you'll get this square box, which is a selection box. And if I click from left to right, I'll get this blue box. And when I have a blue box, what that'll do is only select the lines that are within that blue area. You'll notice I selected a couple I don't want. To unselect them, hold shift and then click on them. 
if you can't get the line like I can't get this one right here, turn off your snap and then shift click on it. And then you can turn it back on, hit enter to complete the selection process and then select a, a mirror axis. And so what I'll do is I'll select right in the middle here, erase source object, no, I'll hit enter. And then I'll repeat the command by right mouse clicking and say repeat mirror. I'll select these shapes again and this time if I select from right to left what you'll find is that it selects everything that it touches whether it's in the selection box or not. So I kind of prefer these green boxes because I can discriminate a little better. So once I have chosen the lines that I want to mirror I'll hit enter to end the selection process. I'll turn my snap back on and then I'll select my axis. To update the title block, what I'll do is I'll turn the middle wheel on the mouse. Turning the middle wheel on the mouse will allow me to increase the magnification level or decrease it. If I push the wheel on the mouse, it will give me a panning effect. I'll double click on the on the text. So once we have it edited, I'll hit escape and I'll say yes, keep my text changes. And what I want to do is to uh, put in the initials for the title block, which would be JC-PLT1. Not sure why I got this name here on here twice, but I'm just going to back off of that. Change that out. Put the date on it these are scaled at one to one and then the only other thing here is that it's really not quite centered on it so I'm going to center it I'll put my snap back on I'll select mirror I'll select the objects I'll hit enter to end the selection set where I'm moving it from and where I'm moving it to and that's it save the drawing do a save as save the drawings as your initials so we'll say JC-PLT1, hit save, and that's the end of exercise one.